Good morning. Good morning. Um, the um, Secretary Hanger did plan to be here as recently as yesterday afternoon. Uh, and he, uh, however, was informed yesterday afternoon that uh, Secretary Chu and uh, Secretary Solis, the Labor Secretary and Energy Secretary, are in Pittsburgh today for an announcement involving the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. And so Secretary Hanger was called upon to go to Pittsburgh to be with them for that event. He did, however, ask me to extend his, uh, his regrets, his deep regrets, for not being here because I know he was looking forward to this event. Uh, it is an historic event. And he also was looking forward to being able to thank each and every one of you for your participation, for your efforts, for your work on this committee. This has taken, I know, an awful lot of time, energy, and particularly expertise from the people assembled in this room. These were some very difficult issues. These were, all of you are people from very different backgrounds, very different geographic regions, very different, in some cases, philosophies, and yet you worked together over these last five years to create documents that we can all be very proud of. So, Secretary Hanger thanks you, Governor Rendell thanks you, and probably most importantly, the people of Pennsylvania thank you for your efforts to deal with the water situation in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The uh, Pennsylvania is very fortunate in its water resources, our waters provide a habitat for wildlife, great recreational activities. Most importantly, our waters have been invaluable resources in the economic development of our state. The supply of water is always a consideration when firms are looking to relocate or expand. We have been very blessed in our water supply. We have used our water supply for mining, for agriculture, for heavy industry, electricity generation. We, um, however, we need to protect our water resources because we see the struggle that other states and nations face when water resources are scarce. We need to protect our water resources, to protect our health, our livelihood, our quality of life, as well as the economy of this state. That was the work that this committee has done, and this committee has produced some documents that I think are works that can be used by many people in this state. The statewide water budget tool, the water plan principles document, and the statewide regional atlas that will be invaluable for planning Pennsylvania's water future. For those who have not seen this book, there will be a copy available as you leave later today. I urge you to please pick up one. It is a tremendous resource, and one that if you have not seen, you should take a look at, and also, I think planners and others around the state will make very valuable use of. It's a wealth of information. It charts the history of water management in Pennsylvania, provides a glimpse into the future. The web component is currently under development, but when complete, will provide a public portal to the plan's documents, data, and information and be a vital asset to planners and watershed organizations, private enterprises, economic development authorities, and others. The act that created these statewide and regional committees, Act 220 of 2002, took an awful lot of effort to pass through the legislature. One person I would like to acknowledge for his leadership in all of this is uh, former Secretary Dave Hess that I saw earlier and is uh, somewhere in this, uh, in this audience. And want to, uh, there's Dave over there, and want to uh, acknowledge and thank Dave. And, uh, and he has been very much involved in this effort. And since then, I know all of you have invested many hours of your lives. Many of you had to take hours away from other duties other responsibilities from your day jobs, and yet you did it. And um, this has been, as Representative Harper and I were discussing earlier, this has been an effort where there was genuine hands-on participation by all the members of the, uh, uh, of the regional committees and the statewide committees. These past five years have been devoted to data gathering, budgeting, 
drafting regulations and guidance documents, and creating water analysis screening tools. The next five years and beyond will see the implementation of the statewide and regional priorities. So we should keep the momentum going, but for today, we should acknowledge how far we have come and thank those who have been responsible for that progress. Today, we will have this letter here with us. Uh, I will read it to you. Um, it will be on the website within, I think it might be on the website now. And it's a letter of acknowledgement from Governor Rendell. Dear statewide and regional water resources committee members, Pennsylvania statewide water plan will empower the Commonwealth to enhance our citizens' quality of life and our community's economic prosperity. By promoting consistency among state, interstate, county, and local water resource plans, we can identify existing critical areas where water availability may be insufficient now or in the future. On behalf of the citizens of Pennsylvania, I deeply appreciate your hard work and commitment to this process. Your participation is crucial to the success of the program, bringing together the voices of the many public senators and representatives of government agencies. We look forward to working with all of you as we move forward with implementation of this plan. Thank you and congratulations on this important achievement. Sincerely, Edward G. Rendell, Governor of Pennsylvania. So, again, thanks from the Secretary, thank you from the Governor, and thank you from the people of Pennsylvania. You collectively have done a very impressive job and uh, we all acknowledge and appreciate what you have put forth.